And as we move past another storm with widespread power outages, getting the lights shut off then brought back on again is becoming an unfortunate routine. Yeah, this is raising some new questions about the performance of Maine's power infrastructure in general. New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch takes a closer look. As another storm coats Maine in ice and snow is the long darkness that follows always inevitable. Reliability is going to have to improve. Across our state, an old electrical grid is facing the elements head on and losing. Mainers have among the most frequent number of outages in the nation and rank number one in wait time before the lights come back on, according to federal data. The utility companies managing the power lines say this has to do with the physical makeup of the state. Maine is the most heavily forested state in the nation. We also have a very rural and spread out service territory. To Marissa Miner with Versant Power, tackling the state's geography and fighting outages depends on preventative measures. Um, one would be tree trimming, one would be storm hardening, uh, things like covered wires. As for taking a more drastic approach, like burying wires underground and safe from branches, Maine's geography again appears in the way. Parts of Maine that just because of the granite, uh, to try to be extraordinarily expensive and difficult to try to get those lines buried. A cost regulators like Philip Bartlett with the Maine Public Utilities Commission say might not go over well with ratepayers, but time is of the essence. There are a lot of, you know, Holes and other parts of the infrastructure, you know, they were put in 50, 60, 70 years ago. And with repeated blows from storms, power researchers like Nina Flores at Columbia University say it becomes harder to pick up again each time. What we're seeing now, um, we just have this sort of like perpetual damage. And despite these reliability concerns, Bartlett with the Maine PUC emphasizes that Maine power customers still pay the lowest rates in New England. Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.